Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris, and I'm your host today. Yes, I know what each and every one of you are already going to say. Yes, Chris, where you been for two weeks, nine days, or however long I've been gone? You know what? I've been busy, dog. I've been busy. If this is your first time to the channel, uh, I, I hope that you would like, comment, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine, too. But in this video, I wanted to get back to y'all about... Uh, Arch Linux. Now, you may remember that I was I went on this big spiel about how I was going to move to Arch Linux. Well, it didn't work out good. So what I did is over the last week, week and a half, I've went through this progressive state of trying Linux distributions. I tried Pop OS, Ubuntu, I tried Arch, I tried I tried everything. As you can see, I ended up on Linux Mint. Now, this video is being recorded on my laptop that I bought at a flea market for $400. It is a HP ZBook, and I installed, I went to the store, bought a hard drive, a uh, Samsung 990 Pro, put in this thing, and let me tell you, this sucker is smoking fast, man. It is fast. I'm using this as my main programming computer now that are done for Linux. I moved completely away from arch now there is a stipulation that says that art is better than debian based oss now i don't know what you think about this but here is what i found this is my opinion disclaimer arch fanboys don't get mad at me for this arch takes a long time to set up and i've i've watched a ton of videos that say that it's better that Arch is better. I don't agree. I will agree that it is very reliable and that it's very clean. But what I will also argue is that Mint is also clean and Mint is also reliable. I had no issues with Mint so far. None. I installed it. I put it in. It's been fine. And I got this cool background that was built into the desktop backgrounds. This was built into the system. And so far, I think, oh, Pop OS, please don't get mad at me for this. I believe that this OS is better than Pop OS. I think it, it is it is so fast. Oh, my God goodness this sucker is fast and it, it has been clean it's been a really good experience and so i think that i'm going to veer away from arch because i spent hours that y'all have no idea how much time i have spent on this endeavor os i tried that i tried pop os i tried arch itself there was a lot of things i tried and in the end i need to do work this is where this is the part that i think prevents people from going to linux is because it requires so much work and the problem with that is when you have an operating system you're trying to use it daily and you can't even get it to run well you're not going to use it if you can't get it to run mint so far i think has been the best one for me i think it's clean it's smooth it's fast it's reliable the updates were flawless there is one issue i ran into and i will i will describe i will describe it because i wrote it all down so when i was doing um see i've got it right here watch this so this is what happened so i have a cal digit uh, ts3 plus connected to this laptop it has two usb three thunderbolt ports and it oh my i love this laptop dude for 400 bucks it was a steal this video is more about some of the issues i ran into and what i did to fix them so first thing i run into was when i would plug in the thunderbolt port there's there's two issues one still remaining that i haven't figured out the one that i can't figure out is when i plug in the thunderbolt it does not charge and i don't know why it as you can see this monitor is my secondary monitor. I'm recording on my laptop screen. Here, let me pull it over here. That was my secondary screen. Now, what I'm finding is that the it's interesting to me that the it'll do display port and it'll do Ethernet, a gig Ethernet, but it won't do charging. Now, I know that it's not the power brick because it's the right one for that dock. It could be the cable, possibly, because I don't know that this is an actual Thunderbolt cable, like certified, because I do know that some of these are not as good quality, but that's neither here nor there. So what I ran into was the Thunderbolt. I'd connect everything, and then nothing would work. The screen would come up. This screen right here would come up, and it showed everything, but the Ethernet wouldn't connect. And so what I had to do, what I found out was that if you look right here, you see there's a yellow dot out to the left. Well, I found this out in Windows that you have to authorize the Thunderbolt port to work with that machine. Now, you notice the difference here. So this is before I authorized it. This is the command to do it right here. And then you take the UUID and paste it directly after this. So this part, like I did right there. 
right there. Once you do this, it's this one right here. Notice how this is wrong because I copied it from somewhere else. But you need this UUID because this is the ID of the device. Once I did that, then it came up with all of this stuff right here. And you notice it says authorized. Up here it says connected, but down here it's connected, authorized, and stored. It was a pretty small problem. It wasn't a big one. I mean, this was an easy command to run. So after all of this, I I can honestly tell you that Mint so far has been the best. It's even better than Pop! OS. And I don't know why. I'm going to probably start donating money to, to Linux Mint to the developers because of I go based off of effort. Uh, off of what I see. And I tried Arch. I tried Pop! OS. I ran into issues with pretty much all of them. And especially, oh my God, Endeavor was a freaking nightmare. Well, it wasn't a nightmare. The Bluetooth would not turn on at all. It's like it wasn't even compatible with the Bluetooth driver or with the card. And it's an Intel-based card. I can tell you that. So I ended up going to Linux Mint. Out of the box, everything works. This is another thing I've noticed about Linux, per se, is that Linux is really good with printers. This printer right here, this is my wife's label printer. Windows never finds it. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You have to install all the drivers and it never works right. But on Linux, it just popped up. I didn't have to do anything. It just showed up. And that's what I'm finding is that, and Mint is very good about a lot of the things that I'm starting to see with Mint. Now, I've done a couple videos in the past of Linux Mint and how how well it's done. But this video, it, it was interesting to me how, how many things I had to go through to get to the one that I like the most. So, this is like one of the points I want to make is that what works for everybody else may not work for you. You could have 50,000 people telling you, go with Pop! OS, go with Ubuntu. But in the end, those may not work for you. This OS works perfect for me. It does exactly what I want it to do. And there's something else. It's got this, um, let me show you all this. So I love this image. Oh my goodness. That's pretty sweet. There's a, um, oh my goodness. Now I got to find it. Crap. Uh, so there's a part in here that deals with the, oh, right here, the preferences. Now, right here. And if you go to the backgrounds, you can see there's a crap ton of them. There's all these Linux Mint ones, the Vanessa ones. I mean, there's tons of them. And what I found is that all of these are really high quality images. They're not cheap. They're not bad images. They're very, very good. Now, I will take a deep dive of Mint at some point, but not right now. And the video I did, I think, was installing it, kind of looking at it, but I can't. I think it was like version 16. I think this is version 20, I think. But what I found is in the beginning, when you're setting it all up, it comes up with this screen that asks you, that tells you what to do. It kind of says, hey, do this first, do this, then then this, then this. I'm trying to find that stupid window, but I don't see it. Can't remember what it was called, but it, it was a, a window that popped up in the beginning that kind of told me, hey, that kind of guided me through what to do. Now, a lot of Linux people will, will get mad at that and they'll say, that's not really when it, Linux. No, it is. Because the kernel is Linux, not the OS. Front end is not the back end. The back end is all the same. It's all Linux. So don't let people discourage you from using Linux just because you're using Mint or Ubuntu or Ubuntu or, or any of the other ones. Fedora is a good one too. But any of these are good. You have to find the one that works best for you and the one that you like. Now, art, don't get me wrong, is very good. It is very good. Don't get me wrong. From And you're going to see this in the videos that I'm already going to release, wherein when I tried to install Arch on my server, failed like seven times. I could not get it installed. The server I had is now out in the shed and will go into our yard sale. Well, for one, it's noisy. Two, it's huge and it weighs 500 pounds. And it's just, it's from like 2012. But it, that's neither here nor there. But it, it ended up up being that the server failed the ones i bought for that server were um and i erased all the drives i cleared the raid array and cleared the disk and and wiped them and, and it still failed and it failed i'm serious it's failed six or seven times i tried it three or four different ways nothing worked so i ended up saying okay you know what i'm done with this crap if it's not gonna work i'm not gonna bother with it if it's not gonna work so then what i did was i said okay i've got this little machine that i'm gonna put it on and it didn't work either and i'm like well, crap. Now what? So I ended up going through three machines to put Arch on, and it didn't work for any of them. I in eventually ended up installing it in a virtual machine using VMware Workstation Pro because it's free right now. 
for everybody. And that is the only place I could get it to run was virtually. So I don't know if there's something I did wrong. Disclaimer, I may have done something wrong. I don't know. But what I do know is that when I put it on, when I tried Linux Mint and put it on this laptop, it was perfect. Don't ever let people tell you that you have to use a certain brand of Linux just because you you want to be a fanboy or because they say that you have you don't have to do anything. If you want to use Linux, use the one that works. Try a bunch of different ones. Find the one that you love, the one that you like, and use it and learn it really well. The laptop I have, by the way, is an HP ZBook. It's a Gen 5. It's a 15 inch screen, 32 gig of RAM, and I forget, it's got like an A2000 discrete graphics card from NVIDIA, or no, P2, was it a P2? Maybe a P2000. And uh, it has a, I think an I, it's got a Core i7 V Pro 8th Gen in it, and I got it for 400 bucks. So to me, that's a good deal. And so I bought it because I wanted to experiment more with Linux and there's one other thing I want to show y'all. So it also asked me in this list to get the graphics drivers, right? So I go in and I and I clicked on the little button that said launch. And there's a little window that popped up and it had a bunch of choices. One of them was the NVIDIA, dis the uh, proprietary driver. I'm like, sure. I clicked on it, installed it. It took about five minutes, three, four, five minutes, something like that. And it rebooted. And when it rebooted, it came up with this. And so once it did that, if you notice, I have two modes. I have Intel Power Saving Mode and NVIDIA Performance Mode. Don't expect me to play a lot of games on this thing because that's not what it's for. It's for development purposes, and that's what I'm probably going to use it for. Now, I'll probably play a game on it every now and again, but most of the time, I will, uh, I will, oh, yeah, right here. Here's your processor. So, it's probably a 12-core. It's a 6-core with 12 threads, so it's hyper-threaded. Um, it's got 32 gig of RAM right here. Here's your uh, hard drive. This your graphics your your uh and oh it's a quadro p2000 mobile that is the uh that's the actual graphics so but that's okay so you will see coming out over the next probably two weeks i'm gonna have four or five videos coming out because I, I just hadn't edited them yet i've been messing around with this thing for hours trying to figure out what i wanted what i liked and i have arrived at linux mint I love it. I think it is an incredible OS and it is smooth and it's fast and it does everything I want to do very, very well. So, like I said before, in conclusion, everybody, no matter what anybody tells you, do not think that you have to go with the OS that everybody else is using. What I can tell y'all is that if you're going to um, do this, I would say that you do the best you can and just keep trying to get better and better at it. Just keep trying to do all the things you know to do that are right and you know what, everybody? Thank y'all for watching. May the Lord keep and bless each and every one of you. And if you need prayer for something, reach out to me at CherylTechnology at gmail.com and I will pray for you and your family or whoever else you want me to pray for. And um, I love each and every one of you. And if you don't know him, if you don't know Jesus, reach out to me and I will be glad to guide you to him. I will be glad to show you who he is and that he loves you just like I do. I love each and every one of you. Thank y'all for all of the likes, the comments, the subscribes, all of the things that you've done to get me one step closer to independent from people. I, I really enjoy teaching people. I really enjoy looking at things. I really enjoy these things. And I, I am not good at working for people. I'm just not good at that. So this is my eventual plan is to do this full time. So if y'all, if you don't know him, I pray that you'd reach out to me. And I love each and every one of y'all. And until my next video, everybody, Peace.